Well, well, looks like Con Conor McGregor got some choice words for Carl Frotch, Carl the Cobra Frotch. Man, what are you, <laughs> what's good is the one and only, but what do I know about boxing? Back at y'all with some more crazy news, man. Let's get into what Conor McGregor said about Carl Frotch. Go ahead and bring it in. Carl Frotch, tick little scrawny pencil neck. I'll grab his head and twist it clean off at a at a one year or whatever with my bare hands. Little wily of a thing, I'll slap you around. You little toffee noise toast pucks. <laughs> Yo, this came out of nowhere, bro. Um, but I think I got a clue of what made Conor McGregor um, speak on Call Fright. <laughs> This, this came out of nowhere. Conor McGregor's at the Anthony Joshua versus uh, Usyk fight to um, uh, Carl Frotch, who is actually commentating uh, for, I, I guess, I, I, I don't know who he's commentating for, but let me show you what started this. Even though this was a month ago, roll the clip, bring it in. McGregor can't punch. Can't punch his skin off a right body. I was there when he boxed Floyd Mayweather. There's a guy from Liverpool. Fuck. Oh, um, is the Mad Paddy, is he? What is he called? Paddy the Baddy. Paddy the Baddy, that's him, yeah. So he's. I think he's got the entertainment value. Anderson Silva was good to watch. He was like, is he even still going? He kind of got me into it. And Conor McGregor, obviously, is a big name because he's got the mouth and he's got the charisma. I'm just sort of getting into mixed martial arts now. I'm not a, I'm not a massive, like, I ain't got my knowledge on mixed martial arts. I watch a fight and I won't know who I'm watching, but I watch it and I watch it back again because it gets brutal in there sometimes. And I've got a lot of respect for these fighters because, I mean, we wear gloves in boxing, 10 ounce gloves, they wear little hand mitts. And all right, they're not massive punchers. Some of them can punch, don't get me wrong. But they kick you in the face and they knee you in the head and do these spinning kicks. And then they get you on the floor, get you on the floor and fuck you up. Sorry the language, but they mess you up. You know what I mean? They get you in some headlock and get you arms. I admire these guys and I respect them. Gregor can't punch. Can't punch the skin off a rice pudding. That's <laughs> So I guess maybe this just now got to Conor McGregor. I don't know. But listen, man, we are. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this because first and foremost, we all know that this fight, it, it would never happen. Carl Frotch has been retired for years now. Great fighter. Very, very big in the UK. Great chin. Fought everybody. Beat my guy Jermaine Taylor. He was behind the entire fight and came back the last 14 seconds and got a stoppage over Jermaine Taylor. Massive heart, bro. Lost to my favorite fighter of all time, Andre Ward, uh, in in the finals of the Super Six. Super Six. Carl Frotch, a great fighter. Conor McGregor, humongous star in his in his sport. Two different sports. Of course, if Carl Frotch was to go to the UFC, we know what happens. If Conor McGregor goes to boxing, we know what happens. Um, I do understand what Carl Frotch means. Con Conor McGregor doesn't have much pop in his punch in boxing. He can fight him. He can punch in UFC, but not in boxing, bro. Hey, let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. But what do I know?